Hey guys, Bagwell Dr. Buster. That's a Silver Shadows impression of me. If you were to see my last video, <laughs> the uh, the footage from the, the pipe meetup, uh, that was uh, pretty hilarious how he interprets my introduction on my, on my videos. It's a little extra Southern when a Canadian does it. <laughs> it's funny. But, what I wanted to do is do a quick rundown of 10 things that I learned at the M Music City Pipe Show and Sale. Number 10. Holiday Inn Express in Mount Juliet, Tennessee has great coffee. And... If you don't believe me, just ask my wife, who drank between six and eight cups of coffee every morning. And uh, a lot of us would meet down there in the uh, little breakfast room, whatever, and drink coffee in the mornings. But uh, yeah, Leslie made made great friends with the uh, hostess there at the coffee stand. Number nine. According to Crossroads Greg, Delta Mojo contains corn nuggets on a stick as one of its primary ingredients. Never would have known that. Although I know, I know he's very familiar with corn, nugget, corn nuggets on a stick, or anything on a stick for that matter. Uh, number eight. With enough pressure from Rachel Campbell, my wife will smoke a pipe. There's not many wives out there that will smoke one of their husband's pipes, but I have proof that my wife smoked a pipe. Here it is. She'll kill me for that. Number seven. Which leads me to what I'm smoking in is an Eric Ganey pipe, but I had the pleasure of going to eat, out to eat with Eric and his wife Shasta, and unbeknownst to me, Eric stays regular, if you know what I mean. Number six, which brings me to this tamper. This is my third tamper that I've gotten from Angela. Angela's brand new bag. Angela is quite the artist. A lot of you saw the package that she sent to me and Leslie when Luke was born. And uh, one of the things that she sent was a, uh, a drawing she did of our two children. And it was awesome. So, she drew us this picture. That is a picture of Leslie and I on our honeymoon. So, so there you go. And I, you might see it better right there. And we'll hang that up next to the picture she drew of our kids. Thank you, Angela. Very artistic. Number five. Brother Boontar and Sister Skipsy have a language all of their own, and it consists primarily of hashtagging words. Funny story, in the middle of the night, when this came from Skipsy, Brother Boontar fell off the bed, off the air mattress as they were camping, and as she proceeded to crack up laughing, as if he was still asleep, Boontar without skipping a beat in the middle of her laughing said hashtag not funny and then went back to sleep <laughs> that's awesome number four
Mike Miller, best known as Duke Avan, is a very cool individual, which leads me to what I'm smoking. He gave me some capstan, which is what I'm smoking. Some Hyde Park, some Stanwell Melange, and this is what I'm most excited about, a 2009-10 of Three Oaks. So it's four years old, and I told Mike I am not going to open it for a while. I'm going to let it sit, age, uh, put it in my cellar, whatever. And uh, I appreciate that, Mike. He also gave me a bunch of baggies of other tobacco, too. But, uh, there you go. That was uh, number four, Mike Miller, Duke Avan. It's a cool guy. Number three. In the absence of your best friend, who wasn't able to travel with you to Nashville for the Music City Pipe Show and Sale, Frank Duncan, aka Tobacco Frank, is a very good substitute for a BFF. And uh, Big Traffic was unable to go. Frank slid right in, took over the role of my best friend for the weekend. Appreciate it, Frank. Number two. The Southern Fried Pop Club, they know how to put on an event. I tell you what, we had so much fun. I never laughed so hard. I never uh, enjoyed myself at any other type of event than I did this weekend in Nashville. Chris and the guys, everybody at Big Star, and at Uptown, Joe Case, everyone that, and, uh, if you didn't leave the event with at least this much Sutliff tobacco, you did something wrong. And then finally, The number one thing that I learned at the Music City Pipe Show and Sale is According to Rachel Campbell's mother, everybody wins with a 60. <laughs>